hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames if you're new here be sure to subscribe to my channel turn on your notification bell and join the family in this video guys we're gonna talk about diddy getting something else snatched from him more major fallout for sean diddy combs and honestly based on this report because we're we we have gotten what three reports in the last four days about diddy and it's really given the sense that there are things happening behind the scenes that his legal team might be trying to control and as such i think we're gonna hear more about him as i've been telling you guys do you guys remember the last video that i did on diddy a few days ago i said to you guys we're gonna hear more about him before the week ends well i'm gonna tell you that i do believe that something major is coming up with this guy and as such we're gonna hear something really heavy something that we're prepared for but yet not prepared for anyway let's get into this report that is coming out from tmz now if you guys remember back in 2016 sean diddy combs was appointed dd day by um, miami beach mayor philip levine and that was back in 2016 during the revolt music conference so that is what is being taken from him at this point so according to tmc they're saying that the new fallout for diddy from the cassie video and sexual assault allegation allegations the miami beach commission is revoking sean diddy combs day diddy posted up with then miami beach mayor philip levine during the 2016 revolt music conference when he originally received the the proclamation which the city's commissioner voted to yank this week so they yanked that ish from him and honestly i don't know why they can't keep giving people these honorary degrees there are some cases where you can definitely tell that you know that person warrants that honorary degree and all of that but there's some people especially sean diddy combs sean diddy combs has always had a questionable past but i also believe that with his questionable past and you know affiliation with the higher ups that's how he was able to gain most of these things many people can say that he has made great contribution to music that's bs in my opinion because if you look at his legacy his legacy is surrounded by theft and treachery to all the other artists that he has worked with for the most part and there's so much um stories about him and when you hear you know, several people telling stories about working with him. When you connect everyone's stories together, it actually makes sense. So while we can say that there are people who comes up with these fallacious attacks against him, for the most part, a lot of what people say about him is definitely factual. And we're talking about, you know, people like Mace who have worked directly with Sean Diddy Combs and who knows who Diddy is like. So I think that people really need to really look into Diddy's legacy and realize that, yeah, he may have some amount of contribution to music, but it's always surrounded by treachery, lies, theft, and the list goes on. Now, let's get back to TMZ. TMZ saying that Diddy received the proclamation in October of 2016, just seven months after he was caught on surveillance video assaulting ex-girlfriend inside an LA hotel. Of course, the general public and certainly not the city of Miami Beach knew that that had happened until the video came out this year. So, what this is proving is something that we've seen and heard Sean Diddy Combs saying on record when he said he always gets what he wants and he has to get what he wants. And people will say that, you know, Cassie was with him for money and she could have gotten out if she wanted to. If a man beat you up and a few days later you see the man getting a Diddy day in Miami, wouldn't you be fearful? Because you, you're going to sit and say to yourself, something is not adding up. This is not making any sense. No, guys, and not only that. Do you guys remember that Suge Knight said Sean Diddy Combs has always been a CIA asset and a lot of people around him knew about this. Even the woman that he dated knows about this. So we're on the outside looking in and I think that people are truly not understanding the magnitude of how 
heavily intimidated Casa Ventura was by this man. And I believe that as time got, um, as time passes, people may say, why did she eventually got away? Remember that at the time when Cassie got away, a lot of stuff was coming out about Didi. And he basically said that he was changing his life and all of that just around the time that Kim Porter had passed. So at that point, we could see that, you know, his power started to get weak. And I believe that Cassie saw that and realized that, okay, he's trying to make a change. Something is coming up. Things are not really, really looking so good for him as it once used to a couple of years ago. And I believe that she also, you know, finally got the strength after talking to a few people to actually leave and leave in the sense that it could not come back to, you know, intimidate date her, bully her, beat her, assault her, or do any of that ish to her. So while we might be on the outside and, you know, judge this girl, Cassie Ventura, when you really look into how, you know, mayors and senators and, and his political co connection and affiliation, when you really look at all the people that Didi was affiliated with, you can definitely understand why Cassie would be fearful of this man. Just imagine again, as being reported, the surveillance video, um, it wasn't public, but just seven months after the man beat Cassie Ventura, that is when he got Diddy Day in Miami. And I think that those are some of the things that really, really, um, you know, led to Cassie being fearful. It's not just him putting hands and feet on her. I believe that Cassie, again, was looking to her left, looking to her right, look at who he's connected to, look at his ties, look at his affiliation. And I did, and I do believe that she was genuinely scared of this man. No. Diddy Day has been revoked again, as you guys know. Guys know he, um, they have revoked the key to New York City. And a lot of other things. He has, um, the honorary degree has been revoked from him as well. So he has been getting hit back to back. And as I've said to you all, I definitely believe that something heavy is about to come and everyone who can cut ties in whatever way they can are just making sure they are in the clear from this man, Sean Diddy Combs. I do believe again, I said it earlier. Um, a few days ago, I said, we're going to hear more in the next couple of days. Here it is. And I'm telling you all, we are about to get hit with something heavy. And I think that it is something that, again, we are not ready for, but will not come as any surprise to us. But that's all I have to say about that for this video. Let me know what are your thoughts. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. See you guys later. Bye, guys.